Hello everybody, I'm Paul. And I'm Andrew. And welcome to the Fan Voice. We are here tonight to talk about the revival and the return of the legendary series Rock Band. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Rock Band was recently announced. Uh, I put up an ill-timed uh, article the night before it was announced. Like, ooh, they may be teasing Rock Band 4. And then it was up for about six hours before it was announced the following morning. So, uh, so yeah, uh, Rock Band 4 is coming, so tonight we'll be talking about that, first of all. Mm -hmm. We'll also talk about why we love Rock Band, what makes it so great, Yeah. and then we're also going to talk a little bit about um, why the music genre kind of died in the first place, Yeah. and what happened to it. Just a little bit of everything. And why we think it's coming back now. Ooh, yeah. All right. <laughs> so, so yeah. where should we begin? I guess we'll start with Rock Band 4. Okay. Uh, Good like, plan. <laughs> there's not a lot of information, admittedly. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, it's just like it's coming. Yeah, but Harmonix did release a uh, like five minute kind of like preview. We're working on it kind of video, which was it was actually pretty interesting because they kept pressing on the fact that they were like going to make this one revolutionary or make the series evolve more kind of thing and well i think that they mostly were talking about the fact that they need to uh what's the best way to put this uh evolve it without changing it sort of like yeah like they're not gonna change the things that make it great but they're gonna change up using new technology Right, and they yeah, they kept saying they were going to do things that weren't possible in the past kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. But I'm just wondering, like, oh, yeah, and also they brought brought about the fact that they were, like, going to, like, enhance the experience of, like, kind of, like, being in a rock band kind of feeling. Right. Or whatever. It's like, what exactly do you think they could do that could, like, make it so much more different from the other ones besides like adjusting the tracks or like enhanced graphics sort of thing right so i mean like uh the very first thing that comes to mind is all the camera and voice technology uh -huh. that's out right now um oh, okay and the fact that you to harmonize you wouldn't necessarily have to have four mics in the room anymore mm. um or oh that's interesting you know, there's a yeah. lot of there's a lot of stuff like that there's a lot of stuff using the cameras there's i mean that's the first thing that comes to my mind the other thing that comes to my mind is the fact that it feels like there's a lot more you can have a lot more um uh multiplayer ability like online oh um well, okay just because there just feels like there's there's more processing power for that now or something i don't know if that's i see actually true but i see it just feels like that would be a better experience now mm -hmm. than it was in the past. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I kind of, yeah. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> harmonics kind of seems like they really, what they're, I think what they're trying to say, and this actually isn't harmonics, this is a Game Informer video. Oh, so I see. It's a little bit of a hype video, I think. Okay. Point, but, um, I think at this point, harmonics is just saying, like, yeah, we just want to bring it back. We think it's time. Yeah, and I mean, it, it seems like they're being really sincere about the process, whereas beforehand when, like, the whole Guitar Hero trend came out and then Rock Band came along, it's like, oh, riding the cash cow kind of deal, and, but well, they, th sorry. <laughs> but they, they were acknowledging that, like, having, like, big producers under them the entire time was they they kind of felt the same way that it was too pressured and things were getting spread too thin yeah and um well uh i mean harmonics originated guitar Hero. i mean they made guitar hero one and uh -huh. two um and then they got it ripped out from under them basically i see um, activision just took it and because they didn't want to make any more so harmonics was suddenly like okay i guess we'll go with a different publisher so they went with a different publisher uh -huh. and uh, made Rock Band. Yeah. Because they were like, well, what we really wanted to do with Guitar Hero was get it to the point where we could make a full band. Right. Which is, So they went and, and they did that. And they, they stopped that? They, they wouldn't let him do it with Guitar Hero? 
Yeah, no, Harmonix was... Uh, Activision pulled uh, Guitar Hero out from Harmonix because they owned the license to Guitar oh, Hero. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So, yeah. So Harmonix was left without Guitar Hero, which is what they wanted to build on to get to Band Hero. I'm assuming they would call it Band Hero. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they were just like, okay, I guess we can't do that anymore. So they go off and make Rock Band. So to me, Harmonix has always been the person that is the innovator in the, in the industry. Okay. Um, Activision and, and Neversoft, I think, is the, the main development studio mm-hmm. for the other Guitar Heroes, just took a concept and repeated it. Yeah, right. Which which works and it makes money, but uh, unlike Call of Duty, they apparently couldn't do that every year without absolutely flooding it. Right. So I think it got to the point very quickly where Activision just couldn't. They couldn't keep it. They couldn't keep it fresh enough. People were like, "Why do you want me to buy Guitar Hero Pro Jam? I could just <laughs> buy Pearl Jam songs." Uh huh. And that's what Rock Band did. Is each game. They tried to do different things. Between Rock Band 1 and 2, Rock Band 2 had better playlist capability, better online, a lot of really better stuff. Yeah. And Rock Band 3 had pro guitar, you plug in a real guitar, it had keyboard. It had keyboard, it had and it and it had a better practice room and better ways to mm-hmm. practice the game and do training and all yeah. that sort of thing. So every it seemed like every disc of Rock Band was a significant leap forward. Absolutely. And then they got to Rock Band three, but they released Rock Band three at the, it was already on a decline. And it was it was done. Yeah. But so I, I have that's why me personally have, have a lot of faith in harmonics because I do feel like the disc iterations of rock band really came with a lot of more it came with a lot of more interesting stuff yeah yeah and and improvements on top of the game whereas with like all the like extra discs you could call like in in a normal series i guess kind of comparing to kingdom hearts it's like okay these bridge games are like a a lot less hype a lot less uh, significant in the consumer's eyes kind of thing and It seems like with every main iteration, especially looking at this third one coming mm-hmm. out, it's going to bring a lot, a, a lot of new stuff and like re- revive people's enjoyment of it. Yeah. Even though like small things here and there have been lingering the yeah. whole time, is like no, this is the new, like definitive experience right. that's going to be the next landmark in the yeah. series kind of thing. Yeah. So I mean, I I I'm personally very very excited. I think that I trust Harmonix to do to do to do to make improvements significant right, right. improvements on it my issue is 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 you mentioned earlier the the whole like we're going to change up the experience we're going to make it more social that came up and i was uh-huh. kind of like that's just a buzzword and i can feel yeah, it just being yeah. a buzzword and i'm kind of like i'm just gonna let that one go because <laughs> i know you're saying that to make it sound good right but i know that's not actually what you're doing uh-huh yeah, Absolutely. you probably are going to make it more social in a, in a couple different ways. Like, you're probably going to make multiplayer a lot better. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, the multiplayer of Rock Band 2 or 3 aren't bad, by any means. But they definitely have some issues here and there. Like what? Well, I mean, there's like there was hardly any chat. Um, oh. Because the singer had to be singing, so they never fixed the chat. And they never fixed, like, you couldn't really have, like, a party. It was really, it was really kind of awkward. Hmm. the way they did meeting up with people um doing competitions between bands was kind of difficult oh yeah so like yeah there was a lot of that that just didn't make a lot of sense <laughs> online multiplayer wise uh-huh and i feel like now you can really you take advantage of newer systems and okay. much bigger online bases so i haven't really done any of the online um so how, how do you think they can improve on that like the communication and stuff well i mean first of all ps3 didn't have parties so you never had chat on ps3 mm. for rock band um you did have chat through a party chat on 360 but there were there were a lot of and i, I think a lot of it was fixed in three but in two there were a lot of lag issues oh, i see yeah and it was really not optimized well yeah um and you would fall out of sync really easily with band members and it's kind of a mess at some points in Rock Band 2. Oh, yeah. Um, in 3, apparently, it was kind of fixed. But, but again, didn't... it was losing popularity because... Yeah. Well, and, and the other thing is, 3 didn't fix anything else. <laughs> you know oh, I mean? like, really? Oh, three, my goodness. 3 didn't do any improvements in online multiplayer. Yeah. Like, I would love to see a lot of different modes. 
for online multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Play in a band, compete against other bands live. Um, there are a lot of things I think you could do to move forward. Mm -hmm. You know, like the Rock Band 3 online multiplayer was basically the band. You were playing in a band. And all the other tracks that you weren't playing were grayed out. And that was it. That was kind of the online experience. Mm. It's like having you rock out and, and play like a solo or, or a sample of several different songs against five, six other, eight other guitarists. Oh, wow. Something like that. Okay. Right? Like a live... I don't know. You know, there's a lot of... I feel like there's just a lot of things you could do uh -huh. with the online multiplayer that haven't been tapped into. Okay. Besides okay. just... You, three other people, and a band. Yeah. I just yeah. feel like there's a lot that they're not necessarily missing out on. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know how much of that would work. Yeah. But I feel like there's a lot that you could you could make it more interesting. Okay. So. Alright, alright. Yeah, I would say, what is it? Probably the thing that, um, about Rock Band, which was the most enticing, was when they really started utilizing the download feature for songs. Mm -hmm. and yeah. um <laughs> yeah their their best online feature probably hands down the and uh, insane. absolutely and like it seemed like in its heyday i was like you know what they don't need to make new rock bands every time if they get enough like rights for like a lot of good songs mm -hmm. and stuff this will become a playable itunes kind of thing yeah exactly. you know what i mean mm -hmm. and uh i i guess they kept that going for a while like h how long after like, um, it's only, did they ever stop? Uh, they did. They did. Okay. And it was, I think, in January, I think I read that when they released DLC in January, it was the first time in 21 months. Oh, So it okay. had only been two years, which, not even, which is crazy if you think about it, because Rockman died a yeah. while ago. Yeah. It was a long time ago. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, they kept it going for pretty much as long <laughs> as they possibly could. And not because they wanted to make money, they... they I think they stopped making money a year before they actually stopped doing it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. But they just kept go kept it going because they knew that there was a community. It was generally pretty easy to do while well, they figured out what the hell they're going to do next. Yeah. Um, that's but true. I was talking with a couple people about that, and I think that that's what makes Rock Band 4 so interesting. Because that's really all you have to do. You have to release one game. <laughs> yeah. Release one physical disc. Or not even. You just have people download it. It's next gen. Everybody has space. You know? Yeah, that's true. Everybody, like everybody, downloads things. But you get you so, get that one disc, and you instantly have if you are following and downloading enough, you you instantly have a ton of yeah. tracks. Yeah. Kind of thing. And then you just keep updating it. Right. I mean, every week you just have a new DLC like they used to do. Yeah, absolutely. And the next thing you know, you have a library of that of three thousand instead of two. 4,000 instead of do that. And then at some point it just gets to the point where it is, like you said, a playable iTunes. Yeah. And you don't have to release a new game uh -oh. because you have a constant revenue stream. Exactly. I mean, it's been proven that that has worked before as long as there's a user base for it. Right, right. Maybe to keep the user base interested, you release a new game that's going to have a new keyboard or it's going to have... Yeah. You know, uh, something else. Or, <laughs> a, a rhythm guitar. I don't know. Whatever it is, right? Like, you could release new instruments on, on for a new disc just to every couple of years to keep the interest going. Right, yeah. But you really don't even have to do that. Yeah, exactly. You could release most of that as a free update or paid DLC 15 bucks for whatever. Right. And if... I, I guess the key now is to see if this if this gap in time will really pay off for the rock band community like has 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 have the com consumers that got tired of it had enough time away from it to be interested again kind of thing yeah that's so that's a really interesting point yeah. um i i mean me personally i love rock band and i've always loved rock band so um i was really excited and yeah. kind of in spite of myself too because i always said like even if Rock Band comes back, I don't think I want to get go down that rabbit hole again. Because I played that game way too much. 
It's true. And we, now, we, we play. Oh yeah, my goodness, it's we way played too it a lot. <laughs> now at this point, uh, it's already over. I saw that Rock Band Four was coming, and I'm like, well, shit. I guess I'm gonna spend five hundred dollars to but to you, play Rock Band Four. You know, there are there are a couple series like that. You know, um, yeah. What is it? Of course, we'll go to the Super Smash Bros. thing. I hear I hear a lot from people after like one of them comes out and they play it for a while. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know what? I think I'm done with Smash. I've played it so much. But then the next one comes out and yeah. everyone's crazy hype yeah. again. Kind of similar to the Halo series, too, you know? Yeah, that's true. That's a really good point. People yeah. play it for a couple months and then they're like, nah, I think I'm done. Right? And then the next one comes out and everybody's back. Yeah, on. amazing yeah. cinematic trailers, versing mode, all that. Yeah, exa- exactly. Yeah. It's like you're hooked again. <laughs> and I would say definitely Rock Band has potential to be one of those series. And I think they did this very intelligently. Harmonix waits until the next generation of consoles. Yeah. They just went, you absolutely. know what? Fine. It's dead. We'll leave it dead for a while. But I think in the back of their minds, Harmonix was always like, it'll come back. We know eventually it fe- it'll feel like there's a time for it again. I mean, it's such an innovative and unique idea. Like, yeah. F- like, and it died completely. I mean, there's people who still want to play it. Mm-hmm. And I think that Harmonix had their feelers out enough to recognize when there was like a buzz about the music genre again. Uh-huh. Uh, and a great example of that is like Rocksmith got a lot of press last year because you know you could plug in a real guitar and learn how to play through a video game. Um, oh, have you ever have you ever heard of it before? I remember hearing about it a long mm-hmm. time ago. When, yeah. when did that come out? It came out a long time ago, but but Rocksmith Two I think came out. Oh no, I guess Rocksmith Two was a couple years. Did ago. that did that sell but well? It did surprisingly. Huh. It surprisingly sold pretty well, okay, c- and it was yeah. it, it got a lot of press because people were like, "It actually teaches you how to play guitar." Yeah, and it's really fun. Like it's a really good video game. That that's one thing I was kind of worried about is like most of these people who um who like just didn't know anything about like real instruments and got into the Guitar Hero. I was kind of afraid with like something like Rocksmith, they'd just lose patience and wouldn't bother with it, kind of thing. Yeah, and I mean, there there's definitely an element of that, but there were a lot of people who really liked the game, mm-hmm. and they really liked it as a, te- as a teaching tool, and it got a lot of really positive press because of that. Oh, that's great. So, I think Harmonix sensed that, and went, you know, okay, maybe it's not dead. I think there's something still there. And that's when they started probing the waters with surveys and, and asking people, you know, because the rock band, they said the rock band servers will never close down. We'll cool. always keep them open. Uh, and then they said, you know, there's... But we have some in DLC. It's not worth it. But then pretty soon they were like, well, maybe maybe we can start doing it. So that's when the surveys started coming out. And they mm-hmm. started asking people, you know, what would you like in a next generation rock band? And I think it's just enough time that people were like, well, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah. I have a new system. It, I just realized that I can't play Rock Band. Now that you've brought it up, if I ever wanted to play Rock Band, I couldn't do it on this. That's so true. And then they're like, well, I think I would buy a new Rock Band. But I have to be able to use my old instruments. Or I don't have to, but I'd like to be able to use my old instruments if I want to. Yeah. And I think that's why Harmonix is stressing that so much. We're working on it. Hmm. We're working on being able to use your old instruments because we know that's important. But for the time being, it's just for PS4, correct? No, it's PS4 and Xbox One. Oh, okay. Yeah, all yeah. right, all right. Mm-hmm. Why, why did I think it was just PS4? No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, awesome. No, no, it's for both. But uh, but that is all it's for. Uh, there is no Wii U or PC release announced as of yet. Wii U, um, that, that doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise Nintendo's me. Nintendo's always an outsider. It's yeah. Business as usual. Third party. <laughs> Maybe they'll hop on sometime. They yeah. They had we did didn't the Wii Rock Band come out way later as yeah, well? It did. Yeah, it did. So, I think only Rock Band Two came out on it or something. Or maybe it was only Rock Band Three. I can't remember. Oh, I totally just thought of a really goofy idea. What? <laughs> like um, the tablet being kind of like a uh, a free moving camera, 
to view like the band and stuff. Make a music video. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You that, put in these like cheesy transition effects and stuff like that. That would be epic. Spotlight. Oh my god, I want to do that. That would be awesome. That's hilarious. It would. It'd be really funny. Oh, that would be hilarious. Oh my god. Uh, I play as the camera guy in Rock Band. Yeah, That's really. My favorite role. <laughs> Uh, that'd be. I'd that'd totally be, be the camera guy. That'd be awesome. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm. It's it's a good time. I think. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm excited. Uh, this is honestly, I think this is the first thing in a while that's made me think about buying a next gen console. Oh yeah. It really has. It really has been. Cause, Cause I mean, I'd like to have it again. I really would. It like we said, it's one of those games that you could put so much time into just because it's so fun and accessible to a group of friends, kind of thing. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's it really just is. one of those awesome games. And if it hits that stride the same way Super Smash or Halo has, it has a. I would say it has an advantage over those franchises because of their DLC. It is like the most consistent and probably the most desirable. Like yeah, between like all all those kinds of franchises. Yeah, no, you know? I think you're right. I think you're right. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the 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 past. Oh, of Rock Band. doggy. Because we we kind of know the future, although we really don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, we kind of know the future of Rock Band. We we know bits and pieces. Yeah, we know it's coming. Yeah. It's coming this year. Mm-hmm. Um. I I think we should talk about a, a little bit about like what we thought made Rock Band so great. Uh, well, it I guess like like I said before, um, it was it was just a, a new experience that like was accessible to a group of friends. Mm-hmm. Just reiterating that fact, and it it's a game where you can like unanimous unanimously exert a lot of like energy and passion into something if you chose to be that way you know it's like imagining you're in a rock band kind of thing you know like every like since i'm like kind of i kind of veer off from like normal rockish songs Mm -hmm. there wasn't too many that i knew knew of right but when a jimmy world song came on i was flipping my lid and you know for me like it was always fun singing the songs that I enjoyed, like, at the mm-hmm. top of my lungs yeah. kind of thing. Just yeah. putting all my passion into it kind of mm-hmm. thing, you know? Yeah. No, <laughs> totally. And I, I think, I, I agree, It's the it was the social aspect. That was the game that I played even more than Super Smash Bros. Melee, and I think I can argue that I think I might have up until this year. I should say that. Okay. Up until <laughs> this year, it was the game that I played the most with friends okay um because it was you know three times a week and on a weekend yeah one one day a weekend that we would so basically four days a week yeah i would be playing rock band with people right and and that really was for about a year in high school straight that was what i did that was it (laughs) and i loved that i loved the fact that i could just you know and you could you got to the point where you just played an instrument it didn't matter yeah you just did whatever and it was just so much fun yeah absolutely and what is it um it, we 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 not only like sunk a lot of hours into it we sunk ourselves into the game you know like i was saying before i was always like screaming at the top yeah. of my lungs for like every song i could <laughs> well like you, Chris, and Tommy not only learned to play really well, but learned to, like, headbang along <laughs> with it while playing, which was, like, freaking amazing, and, like, Welcome so we, home. we oh, oh, home. oh, oh, my gosh, <laughs> oh, my gosh, so, yeah, I mean, like, I think that was, like, our quote-unquote finale of Rock Band was, like, yeah. one of the most amazing memories yeah. <laughs> ever. Should we tell them about that? Yeah, we, we totally, uh, our, our group of friends played so much rock band that uh we kind of got together uh right before we kind of started to go and down different paths a little bit yeah and we were gonna be generally not seeing each other as much yeah um and we uh we got together for final night of rock band and we totally smashed a couple of the really old uh 
<laughs> Guitar Hero guitars. It was awesome, actually. It was really not not awesome. before like a hundred song playlist oh, ending yeah. with Welcome Home, mind you. Oh but yeah, of course. A- after Welcome Home, we just like. <laughs> <laughs> it was ridiculous. It was it was, it was, it was a so lot of fun. fun. It that was, was so fun. Yeah, that that's kind of that's a really good example about why I love that game. Yeah, because we just it was like yeah we're totally in a rock band I'm like we're not really but it doesn't matter like we just yeah we we had so much fun with that game yeah that absolutely. night is a really good example of that uh-huh. um and I mean I I remember there are so many memories of like I just never stopped playing it because I felt like. You know, I could play a song of guitar a million times over, but it was, but it's like anything else that it's, it, you can see a sense of progression in yourself. Mm-hmm. So Absolutely. like for, with other instruments, I would just be kind of like having fun or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like I was not too good on the drums and, right. and, and I was not good. I'm not good at singing, but you know, I could, I could do pretty well on the guitar and uh-huh. then I, that I really liked along with it being really social, I really liked the sense of progression. Absolutely. I think it's one of the smoothest progressions I've ever had in a game where I felt myself consistently getting better. Oh, I see. And I never stopped getting better until it was like college hit and then I wasn't playing for like six months at a time. Yeah, yeah. I would come back and still be decent, but right. I wouldn't be as good. Okay. Um, but right up until basically end of high school, beginning of college, it was the smoothest sense of progression I've ever had in a game. That's awesome. And it took a it took a while. Uh-huh. I mean, it took a while for me to be that good because yeah. I'm not naturally good at video games. So it took a really long time, but I seem to kind of understand the music part of it a little bit. Right? Yeah. Because I t- I was in, I was in music in, in high school. I'm y- yeah, definitely like learning like tempo and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. It really helps with those kind yeah. of games. No, it definitely and, does. I mean, in a similar fashion, like while that was going on, I was in church chorus. So I was singing all the time, learning to harmonize and like match scales and stuff like that. So that, that, that was really fun for me too. I mean, I wouldn't say I was becoming an amazing singer, but I was getting better at like harmonizing with tunes and stuff like that. And it was a really fun experience because a, a lot of the songs I didn't know, it was just fun, like adapting to like okay, I guess this sounds like this, dude, yeah. the string, I'll just, like, kind of flow with it kind <laughs> yep. of thing, you know? Yeah. And I guess that's another thing that really uh, was cool about it was, like I said before, I'm not usually into, like, the rock rock kind of mm-hmm. genre, and I would say most of our friends wouldn't be if it weren't for rock band. That's true. You know, honestly, um, rock band got me into... A lot of the bands that I'm currently into, mm-hmm. truthfully, um, and I love I love that. Yeah, that I, I mean I was always a fan of Weezer, uh huh. But yeah. I didn't really know too much about Weezer until I played El Scorcho, and I went, "This song sucks on guitar, but it's a really good song." <laughs> and then I wanted to know more about Weezer, and that's totally the reason that I like Weezer. Is oh because wow! Of rock this much at least. Okay, I okay. still knew about it. Yeah, but in high yeah. school I was like. What? There's another album besides Blue? <laughs> right. And then I listened to all of them, and I still went, I still like Blue Album the most, but yeah, the rest of it's pretty good. My name is Jonas, one of my yeah. favorites on Rock Band. It's amazing. Oh my so, gosh. I, you know, there, I can, and I can point to a couple bands like that, you know, and it was also, it was also the same one, it sounds really bad, but it was also the same one that made me realize I did not like Avenged Sevenfold as much as I thought I did. Oh. Because I thought they were really edgy and cool. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh man, Avenged Sevenfold's so awesome. And then I like played the songs, and then I played other songs, and I went, oh god, I like those a lot more. Because <laughs> I don't know if you remember this, but me and we have a very good friend, um, uh, Tom, Tommy, who uh, we would play Avenged Sevenfold all the time. Mm. That was like our thing. We like, yeah, Avenged Sevenfold. Then eventually I realized, like, it's fun to play on guitar. Like, their songs are really fun because they're yeah. difficult. Yeah. But at some point I was like, I don't like those songs. <laughs> <laughs> so really, Rock Band's the reason that I changed a lot of my musical mm-hmm. tastes and preferences in high school. Absolutely. For, it really was. And for pe- for people who don't, like, didn't really get into instruments and stuff, 
stuff beforehand like i feel like those harder rock songs are the more like quote-unquote challenging songs Mm -hmm. you can like them more because you can understand the difficulty behind them and like pulling off those things Mm -hmm. and like but i think we all were like a little inspired by rock band like us with music tastes and like tommy a lot too who like it started enjoying a lot more of those rock songs and i would say that would have a big influence on chris for picking up like guitar that's true yeah um that's a very good point actually yeah i mean the, the game definitely had it had a because i because i can think of tommy me chris you mm-hmm. it, i think the game had a really a pretty big uh influence on that on mm-hmm. musical taste absolutely um and that's i mean that's really interesting to think about because it really was i was never i would i liked music yeah middle school high school whatever but i was never into music and the reason i was into music after that was because of rock band Mm -hmm. so that's i mean i think that's honestly that's the way with a lot of people in our generation because i think people in our generation are i mean we're gamers a lot of the time yeah sometimes yeah. we're just not like music just isn't on people's radar sometimes which is yeah, more absolutely. than understandable because you just you have games to watch you, you know some people right like right instead, it, or... I, I i see it a lot with a lot of my con friends like an like i i i loved music for a while it was around the time i was uh like playing rock band but at the same time, I was gaining a taste in music that would never be on rock band yeah. kind of thing. No, I, I totally get that. But a, a lot of my friends, like, who I met later, felt like how I felt, like, in junior high. Like, they're stuck on anime themes and game soundtracks only. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, the the music is good, but, like, there's so much great music out there. It's, like, I would love them to, like, just learn and appreciate those more and rock band was one of those windows for a lot of people yeah you know it really was and that's and that's kind of what i mean is is you're absolutely right they're stuck on you know listening to game soundtracks and they're like "Ah, i don't really like music and then they're Mm -hmm. like there's this game you can play with a bunch of your your friends yeah and you play music and then it's like that sounds kind of cool i might try it and then you do you get into music because of it Right, And I think that's why a lot of people... This is going to be a little bit of a tangent, but that's why I think a lot of people don't understand why rock band is, is, a, is a good influence. Right. A lot of people are like, they'll never learn an instrument. All, all, yeah, all they see, all they see is, yeah. oh, it's five buttons. It's a disgrace right. to music. They're just looking at like yeah. the, the plain slate mm-hmm. of the cover and kind a lot of, of And a lot of very good musicians do that. And it's frustrating because it's like, well, keep in mind that these are people who would never be introduced to music right. otherwise. Yeah. Because they're, they're not interested in it. They're interested in, in video games. Mm-hmm. Well, this is an avenue for them to be like, oh, here's a video game right. where you play music. Yeah, absolutely. And so that gets a lot of people more into music, yeah. which is a good thing. Not just yeah. for the industry, but music is a good thing. <laughs> you can, know? can you imagine how many people got more into the beatles because of beatles rock band yeah i mean honestly i i know there's a lot of my generation that that was definitely Mm -hmm. definitely appreciated the beatles more yeah um i can tell you uh i had a pretty good friend who hated the beatles because he was just like ah whatever it was high school and i don't like the beatles and um but (laughs) it was it was funny because you know he said that and then uh, played a little bit of Beatles rock band and he was like oh you know what I have a new appreciation their music is like spans so many different kind of genres and like feelings styles, and, and emotions feelings and, and stuff. yeah and it's like there's just a such a wide range of that that he really appreciated at the end of the day yeah. I don't know if he would say that the Beatles are awesome Mm-hmm. But he was like, wow, you know, I didn't know that they did all these different kinds of songs. Yeah, And he yeah. found a couple songs in the later Beatles era that he really liked. Right, yeah. So I was like, well, there Absolutely. you go. That's why people like the Beatles, because everybody finds songs that they're like, oh, that's a really good song. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. They're one of the few bands, in my opinion, to, to, to do that. Everybody mm-hmm. can find something that they like. I mean, you... you not everyone can say they're a hardcore Beatles fan, like, no. completely honestly, but there's there's always something here and there 
for like so many different people yeah. you know like for me like uh, i i got on in that mindset too at a point where it's like uh beatles they sound old kind of thing but yeah. then i heard yesterday yeah and it's like that's totally up my yeah. alley it's a sensitive little acoustic yeah. song it's like yep. yeah uh, but yeah to to a certain degree i can see where like musicians are coming from who put their heart and soul into something yeah. and there are certain people who let it get to their head mm -hmm. but i would say the the good of inspiration outweighs the bad so much more yeah just all all these avenues of like just learning different tastes in music and stuff and there are people who legitly get inspired to start learning an instrument yeah no seriously there are and you know uh a, a great example of that is is, is uh people learning uh drums because you know guitar doesn't translate very well which mm. is why i think they did the pro guitar but a lot of people went oh you know this this drumming thing i really like this yeah I'm gonna go pick up percussion at at my local high school, uh -huh. right? Um, and I think it works for a lot of people. A lot of people get into music because of that. Yeah, and that's a good thing. <laughs> it's a <laughs> yes, very good thing. Absolutely, it doesn't mean that kids aren't going to learn instruments. You're basically getting the kids who are going to learn instruments are going to learn instruments regardless. Mm -hmm. You're not stopping them from learning instruments by giving them rock band. Yeah. They don't care. They're going to do it. Probably yeah. because their parents are making them until they really like music. Uh -huh. Which is not exactly what happened with me. But I know a lot of people that that happened to. Yeah, um, I was forced into a trombone and I quit very fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, the kids who are going to learn instruments are going to learn instruments. Yeah. And rock band's not going to let them not learn an instrument or not want to. Mm -hmm. It's just not going to happen. No. But the... The great thing about rock band is it gets people who wouldn't normally to learn an instrument. Right. That's the good thing. It's teaching kids music. Yeah. Tempo, absolutely. beat, everything. Yeah. The difficulty, the, you know. And that's why I've always uh, just, I don't know, record tangent. That's why I always like, I felt like I always liked rock band's charts a little bit more. Sometimes they went, they wavered a little bit towards the end of rock band's life, but I liked their, their guitar charts a little bit more because they were a little bit closer to the original guitar. I see. Even if they yeah. weren't as difficult, or even if they were more difficult than it kind of seemed they should be, mm -hmm. it's because they kind of tried to stick towards, this is what you'd actually have to do. Like, actually see, seeing the challenge yeah. firsthand. Yeah. So I like that a lot more. Whereas it, Guitar it Hero, like... It a bit more. Yeah, whereas yeah. Guitar Hero would just go nuts. Yeah. And it would be like, that actually doesn't make any sense. Like, right. That note probably doesn't work like that. Yeah. Or, you know yeah. what I mean? So... Mm -hmm. The, anyway, <laughs> I mean, and we're, since we're talking about guitar hero, we should just mention that the music genre basically died. It, it died spectacularly. It was, all, it was on the top, it was everywhere, everybody was really excited about it, and the next thing you know, right at the tail end of Rock Band 2, and Rock Band 3 is about to come out, five guitar heroes come out in the same year. And it just was gone. Yeah. Immediately. It was phenomenal, too, because I walked into a Walmart, and Rock Band 3 had just come out. And I decided it had been about two months since it had come out. Mm -hmm. And I was still playing Rock Band 2. I was like, you know, Rock Band 3, there's some fun songs on it, but we're still playing it. And it was just around the time that I was getting, like, I was in college now, and I was like, maybe I'll get Rock Band 3. Yeah, yeah. And I walk in, and there is Rock Band 3 stuff everywhere. <laughs> no one was buying it. And I walked in, and I wanted the game disc, and there were three things. It, you know how in Walmart there's glass cases? And he, there were three separate ones that were all Rock Band 3. Oh my goodness, Nobody that's had crazy. Nobody had touched it. And I went over to the guy, and I'm like, I want a copy of Rock Band 3. And he literally said to me, Really? With that tone of surprise, like, wait, you re you actually want a copy of Rock Band Three? And he's like, okay, yeah. And we went, and I on the way over, I'm like, has anybody bought anything? It looks like you have so much. He's like, no, nobody's bought a thing. It came out, people bought it, and then like a month and a half later, it just stopped. Suddenly, people weren't buying anything anymore. I mean, it was it really was that fast. That that's that's just nuts. 
Like, yeah. I understand the fading of fads, but just for it to die instantly like that. That's the that's thing crazy. is it really felt like it died instantly. Yeah. And I think I was uh I think I'm a great example of the kind of person of of why it did. You know, Rock Band 3 came out and I was like, eh. it had been a couple months. I am a diehard Rock Band fan, but I'm like I have so much music. Yeah, yeah. And there's music coming out every week. So you think you think the majority Okay. Do you think more people were just tired of this genre or there there were more in your mindset where like they liked the set list they had better than the set list in three? There's both. There's both yeah. of it. I yeah. looked at the set list in three and I was like, I'm not interested right now, I'll wait a little bit. Mm-hmm. And actually I got it way way earlier than I thought I would. Okay. I got it a couple months after mm-hmm. and I really thought I wasn't gonna get it for a while. Yeah. Um, but I ended up like, nah, maybe I'll get it. It's got a couple of really good songs on it. And I can transfer everything over. And I think what, what finally tipped me off was something... Was they were mentioning something with practice rooms or... I can't remember what it was. There was something that I thought, you know, that, that would be worth it. I'll get Rock Band 3 and I'll transfer over all my stuff. Was it the make your own song thing? No. No. Because I, didn't, eh. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember what it was. I think it was a practice. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was a practice mm-hmm. thing. But anyway, there was something where I was like, yeah, I'd like to have that. So I went and bought it. But really, I mean, I think it's a little, I think it's a combination of both. Because I definitely am one of those people that was like, I didn't really like the set list. Yeah. So I don't want to go buy another disc. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that was a mistake for them to think, we'll just release it and they'll buy it because it's rock band. But it's also a product of Guitar Hero releasing, you know, five in a year. Yeah. Yeah, where really that you could it inadvertently destroyed their 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 revenue revenue as well, and I mean that's the that's the worst part is that a company like that made off with so much money that they're not going to really see that as a bad decision. Yeah, they flooded the market. They will never flood the market again. But if Rock Band Four is successful, you know there will be new Guitar Heroes. It's true. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if in a couple months, if this game is get already getting a lot of hype, mm-hmm. there's an announcement at E3 uh, about a new Guitar Hero. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised, because really, that's what they do. I mean, they're just going to do that. And they're not going to stop. No. So, and that, that's fine. Because I think Activision learned their lesson about flooding the market. They, 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 I think they're going to feel like they need to compete. But I think they learned their lesson about releasing disc and full games in one, multiple ones in in one year. Hmm. And I think I they're hope go- so. Yeah. Honestly, but I don't know. Some of those bigger companies, I feel like, make a lot of really selfish, not looking towards the future decisions, kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, you might be right. Um, it's hard to say. <laughs> I mean, at this point, though, Activision, I don't think even has a studio. Oh really? That has made a guitar hero. So. Oh yeah, yeah. So they'll have to get a whole new studio on it. So, if they want to do it, and I'm pretty sure they are, it's not going to come out the same time Rock Band Four will. It'll definitely come out a little bit later. But uh, the other thing about Rock Band that I think is going to attract a lot of people is the fact that they're a being really sincere about it, and b if they can actually have two thousand songs, that's all you have to say. Yeah. Hey, it's a library of 2,000 songs. You can pick literally whatever you want. It's a dollar a song. Can he... I mean, that's enormous. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Like, oh and, oh, and also, if you had old Rock Band stuff and you still have the same console family, you can just transfer it over. Guitar Hero won't be able to do that. No. They were all over the place. That's the thing. They were yeah. all over the place. None of them really transferred all that well. None yeah. of the games transferred. Uh-uh. I mean, if they, could, if they were able to do that, that's a logistical nightmare. And good for them. But yeah, I don't think absolutely. they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna be able to do it, especially not right off the bat. I mean, strangely, Guitar Hero never took hold of like the same like download system that they did. You know? No, they Which didn't really, really have an equivalent. They didn't really have an equivalent store. Yeah, absolutely. Because the Rock Band store was a fixture. I would go there every week mm-hmm. to see what there was. Yeah. And at the end of the life, at the end of of my kind of Rock Band playing career, sort of, mm-hmm. uh, I. I would I would go and I would just be overwhelmed. There would be so many songs. Absolutely. And I'm just like, wow. I, yeah, <laughs> I keep forgetting. Like this is on here. Occasionally, I'd be like, oh yeah, Red Hot Chili Peppers. 
Oh, there's a full album. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And I mean, I think I think that's a key difference between um, harmonics and Activision. It's just like Activision is just looking at this as another like business proposition yeah. thing. Yeah. And but harmonics like are. I feel like a lot of people in there are much more sincere music lovers and they understand what the people want out of these games and like yeah that's true that's it's, the thing. it's not just people transitioning straight from um from just video games mm-hmm. to knowing nothing about music yeah. it's also people who love music and yeah saying oh my gosh i love this album i'd love to play it even if it's just rock band kind of thing mm-hmm. it's like seeing those jimmy world tracks the weezer tracks it it made my heart melt kind of thing you know yeah no no i agree um i think i think the the thing that i'm worried about is if if it is a played out fad and they they obviously have enough data to show that it would be yeah, but if it is a played out fad, we could get a year into DLC schedule and it not be worth it. And so that's the thing that I'm kind of worried about is because I know for me personally, I'm like, you know what? It's been long enough. I have more time now. I feel like mm-hmm. than I did in, yeah. in college, and and that's not true. I don't have a lot of time. I really don't. But. I feel like I have more of a chance to get a group of friends together and play. Yeah, than I absolutely. Did in um, you're, because our schedules you're, aren't. You're all busy, places. but your schedule is fixed more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I, I feel like that lends more to the social element of it a little bit more. Absolutely. And also in college, going to a party that had rock band was occasionally a thing, oh. but it was never a thing while I was in college. So yeah, I was just like. <laughs> but uh, so I feel like now is a really good time for me, but I just don't know about other people. I don't know what other people. You know, this news was very big among gaming circles. Mm-hmm. So most gamers are like, "Oh, Rock Band, that'd be pretty cool." And some people are like really excited, and some people don't care. It's yeah, like average, right? It's but that's it's... just the gaming hardcore. Mm-hmm. Rock Band reached a lot of other people outside it's, of that. It's true. Absolutely. So they have to advertise that and market that well enough so it reaches those old people who still have Rock Band 2 and 3 but don't, haven't really played games all that much that they play a Call of Duty here and there. That, Halo that, still. that I don't know how confident I am seeing like 20,000 Guitar Hero guitars at Goodwill if anybody kept them. That's a really good point. Thing. It's a really good point. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely a mystery, you know, because it did look like at the time it would be one of those things that could always like rope in a bunch of people because it was kind of its own thing and po- super popular and like we see things like Call of Duty or whatnot with like seemingly no end in sight, even though they like regurgitate game yeah. after game after game kind yep. of thing yep. rock band apparently wasn't quite that because it did yeah. die yep and now it's coming back we'll we'll just have to see well where it goes like i mean i i'm confident that if they stick to a less like saturated uh sales plan yeah the they'll have the potential to stay relevant and stay mm-hmm. like enjoyable for people yeah. but i mean uh We'll, we'll just have to see, you know, if people, th- th- enough people are still going to be interested once it comes out, or if they can bring back the hype, you know? Yeah, that's and very true. I, I'm confident that they can. Yeah, yeah, I think that they can, and I think that, um, I think ad- if they do enough advertising, and they do good enough advertising, they can get to, they can get some of those people back that are a little like, whoa, Rock Band's back, yeah. man, that's awesome. Yeah, like, I'm absolutely. a little bit older now, and I feel like I have more time, and that would be really fun. Right, that would be great. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I guess. Um, I I have faith in Harmonics, though. They have a lot of passion for this. They're always one of those developers where I'm. I was like, they could definitely talk the talk, and they could 
back it up. Um, where they kept saying, like, no, we really do love our community, and we're going to keep Absolutely. releasing songs, and we're going to keep supporting it. And they really did, like, listen to a lot of their community, and they really did try to... The thing of it is, again, one more time, comparing Guitar Hero to Rock Band. Guitar Hero is a toy on Activision, Activision's shelf. Yeah. You know? Rock Band is a part of these people. Yeah. You know? But a lot of them are really you can tell from the video that they made too the the video from game informer you can tell that how excited they are yeah absolutely. they're really excited for this to be back and they're really yeah. excited to be doing what they what they what they really want to do right now which is rock band mm-hmm. next right. gen rock band so yeah yeah absolutely i just hope they can pull it out and i really hope it doesn't turn they they don't just put some gimmicky stuff in there I hope they do some real improvements like they used to do. Yeah. For two and three, where they did actual good improvements. Absolutely. I hope they do that this time around. Yeah. And I'd and like to see that too. I do hope they use like the Kinect and the eye camera. Because I think it would be kind of fun. Just throw it that in there. That would be interesting to just, see yeah. see your models yeah. like play like you do kind of thing. Yeah, yeah something, right? Yeah. yeah, like just throw it in there. Don't spend a bunch of time on it. Yeah. But you throw it in there. Maybe maybe that's one of the things they're talking about about yeah. like enhancing the experience, you know. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, uh, tell us what you guys think about Rock Band Four. I'm curious to hear what a lot of you guys think. I've gotten a lot of kind of split responses. A lot of people are like, "I don't know why this is coming back. It's not going to be successful." And then I've gotten a lot of people saying, "Like, wow, I'm really excited. I think this is going to be awesome." Mm-hmm. So uh, so tell us what you think. You can find us at facebook.com slash the fanvoice podcast. YouTube.com slash the fanvoice podcast. Twitter at fanvoice podcast. Our email fan at the fanvoice.com. And our website, the fanvoice.com, where you can find news reviews and uh, really ill timed articles on <laughs> using Rock Band 4. <laughs> so, uh, alright, well, I guess we'll see you guys next time then. Alright, see you later. I'm gonna go play some rock. Band.